Now that beautiful devotion that many of you are gathered here for, called the Flame of Love devotion, was appeared, uh, the Blessed Mother appeared to a simple, humble woman in Budapest, Hungary, Elizabeth Kindelmann, not too many decades ago, and revealed the living flame of love, the flame of love. And this is what she said to her, the grace from the flame of love of my mother's immaculate heart will be to your generation what Noah's ark was to his generation. So you see it is that flame of divine love within the immaculate heart of Mary that will be our reservoir. It will be our place of refuge. And that is not just a physical place, although it is that as well, but our spiritual place of refuge and protection, which also always has physical effects in our lives. It's objective. It's not just subjective. There's an objective reality here that this prayer of the flame of love is extremely powerful and efficacious. We need it for this time. Amen? Boy, do we need it. And there's a quote, I don't hear this one too often, so I wanted to share this quote from Elizabeth Kindleman's diary, where Jesus said to her, of course, through this prayer, the one we just prayed, Satan will be blind and souls will not be led into sin. See, those go together. It's Satan frequently who's behind your back or your teenager's back, urging them and nagging them and obsessing them with temptation and with sin. Frequently when that happens, it's the devil himself. He needs to be blinded and bound away from the poor soul who's being persecuted in this way to sin when he or she doesn't want to sin. So the Lord said to Elizabeth through this prayer, Satan will be blind and souls will not be led into sin. Then he goes on to say, the Lord explained, quote, Satan being blind signifies a worldwide triumph of my sacred heart, the freedom of souls, and a full opening of the road of salvation. The third great act of mercy in the East called divinization, we call it sanctification, is the power of the Holy Spirit to transform you to be prepared to enter into eternal life. This is the flame of love. Your movement is the greatest act of mercy in mankind's salvation history. This is it. This is everything. Salvation history culminates in our sanctification through the power of the Holy Spirit utilizing the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ through his redemptive act on the cross. He rose from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. This third great act of mercy is what turns us and takes us back to God, the Father for all eternity. This is the flame of love. This sanctification, as Tony said, the Trinity put the love of God in the heart of Mary. What was the greatest act of mercy ever bestowed upon a creature? The Immaculate Conception. So Mary, who had this love of God, now wants to spread it through the entire world, through the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. She will prepare the world for you to be ready to receive as that love of the Holy Spirit is poured back onto the world that you're ready to receive it, that you're ready to be sanctified. That's the flame of love.